What's going on guys? Today I'm with Sam Tabor and we are filming a QA. I don't think I've ever filmed someone else like ask them questions for a QA. Like it's like interview style. You but, should um, become an interviewer. Become an is that their official title? Is sure. interviewer? Probably. I had people like you guys ask questions on my Instagram for Samuel Tabor and I picked ten of them and called me Samuel before. Samuel Tabor? Yeah, you never called me Samuel. Well it's your Instagram name, okay. so that's why I said that. Alright, so we're just gonna jump right into it. This is bad for you. Red Bull? Yes. It could be like just cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question. How many instruments can you play, and at what age did you start learning them? Oh, instruments. I thought they said insurance. <laughs> I, I kind of said There's instruments. Instruments. <laughs> How many instruments can you play, and at what age did you start learning them? I can play guitar. It's one. Kind of bass. I mean, I, I feel like well, I feel like it, I'm not like a great bassist, but I know how to play bass. You can play it. You know what yeah. I'm, I'm the same way. I'm kind of like that way with piano, too. I can... I can really play. I can, you think I'm really good at piano? You're better than me. I I can I can dabble on some piano, drums. I can play drums. That's four. Oh, and trumpet. I was first chair trumpet in middle school, and I played violin. But I have no idea how to play violin anymore. I played violin. Too. I mean, I have a little idea, you know. But I was very I good know, at it. I'm awesome. I was. I was first chair for like <laughs> I was first chair violin for like three years. At what age? What? Uh, oh, did you start uh, I started again? playing guitar at like six, I think, and then it just progressed like through the years just learning. I started violin and then I would like, on the bus ride home, I would turn it sideways and pluck it like a guitar. And I was yeah. like, this is stupid. And I would get rid of my violin and I got a guitar. I was like, why don't I just get a guitar? Oh wait, I didn't say their name. M MLG underscore <laughs> Mandalay. All right, second question is from, oh boy, Chris McNugget. He says, if you could listen. I like Chris. Only, if you could only listen to one genre of music. Sorry, it's two music questions in a row. If you could only listen to one genre of music from here on out, which would it be? Dubstep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think dubstep's gonna go away. It has, hasn't it? A little bit. Okay. I don't know. I don't know genres of music. I really don't because, like, when I say like a genre of music that I listen to, it just sounds really boring. If you could pick one Pandora music station to listen to, what would it be? probably nothing rock. Even though I do like rock music. Nothing rock. Like, on, yeah. Like, it, if it, no, I mean like. Oh, I would you not listen, listen to rock. rock. Okay. Freaking like emo rock. What do you call that? Alternative. Alternative? Whatever. I hate genre names. <laughs> I don't know what they are either. <laughs> I don't know. Probably like, uh, I like acoustic music a lot, but also with a band. And I don't know what genre that is. <laughs> there you go, Chris. I have no Hope idea. Hope that answer was good <laughs> for you. I didn't answer it at all. Alright, this is from underscore Tupac. Shin by Razor Scooter or a skateboard? A skateboard. Really? Oh, wait. Would well, I rather? Yeah, a skateboard. Yeah, because with a Razor, not only does it hurt worse, but you're also embarrassed because he's just got shinned with well, the Yeah, because usually the times that you get hit by it, you're just wiggling it around like a freaking helicopter and just yeah. whacks you in the leg. Well, right and on. if you just say, I got shinned by a Razor scooter, <laughs> then you're like... This is an off-topic story. One time, there's this. I was probably like 10, and the guy at the time was probably like 15, 16. He was riding on my scooter, and <laughs> the front wheel got stuck. Scooter. It got stuck in a crack, and he just launched forward and fell on his face. He didn't let go of the handlebars. It's awesome. Yeah. I don't know what question we're on. Question four from Sierra. Refill. Refill? Says if you could be <laughs> stop burping. <laughs> if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? <laughs> that bird. Look at that bird. It's on a wire. Yeah, that'd be sick. Here, I'll <laughs> zoom in on it real quick. <laughs> it's a lonely bird on a wire. <laughs> Look at that bird. <laughs> it's a stupid bird. <laughs> You'd want to be that bird? No, probably like a dolphin. Yeah, they're majestic and smart. They are very smart. Yeah, probably a dolphin. Have you seen pink dolphins before? Pink? Yeah, they exist. Pink dolphins. Look it up. Why would you be a dolphin? Because they're fast as crap, sharks don't like them, so they stay away. They're really smart, really? and they sleep with one eye open, which is kind of cool. You know a lot of things about dolphins. <laughs> I know a lot of things about dolphins. <laughs> Alright, would you be a pink dolphin? I don't know what a pink dolphin is. Is they're it just, just that? Just, just a pink? pink dolphin, yeah. No, probably right. not. Because like, if it was pink, like, in a create a dolphin, in a video game, if there's like a create a dolphin, the pink one would be a girl. That's not true. Create a dolphin, there's a blue one and a pink one, which one's the girl? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Dude, aren't dolphins gray? They're not blue, are they? I got more, more. <laughs> I'll be that dog. Okay, cool. All right, All right sorry if the dog keeps <laughs> barking. It's gonna be like this dog. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Every time I record, dude. Shut up. Go for it. All right, this is from Six Foot Sam. If you were able to, <laughs> if you were to be a video. <laughs> All right, completely straight face. Tune it out. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Sorry. <laughs> if you were to be a video game character for a day, who would you be and why? A pink dolphin. <laughs> it's not a video game <laughs> character. Um, Mario would be awesome. Would it? Mario. Yeah, that'd be. Cool. Mario. <laughs> Did the car wreck just happen? <laughs> Mario. Uh, Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. That'd be awesome. Anything but like Tomb Raider. Like anything. How about like Laura Croft? Like Joel from The Last of Us. 
No, that would suck. <laughs> like, <laughs> stuff any ready. stressful video game would be the worst thing ever. My, I've had this question asked me before, and I said a villager in Animal Crossing because they it's just, just like real life. Yeah, except just everything's happy. You just hang out and fish. Yeah, but the, you need some excitement. Like it'd be cool to be like one of the motocross riders and like M M T M. <laughs> MXC, what is it? MXC! Like, motocross, MTX. MTX. Unleashed, or whatever, you know, because you could ride dirt bikes all day. That'd be cool. <laughs> You'd be a motocross rider. <laughs> You'd be a motocross <laughs> rider. Shut up! Alright, this is. This is. <laughs> Alright, this is from Justin underscore cop. If, if you could have your own personal skate park, what would be in it? <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry for all you watching this and just weren't laughing. really funny. Uh, what would be in your own personal skate park? A bunch like? of manual pads. <laughs> really? It would definitely uh, have like a really good ledge slash manual pad section with like multiple layers of ledges and manual pads, you know? Yeah. But wide enough to actually be fun. I would like a really Looking good at you flat bar. Skate park. What? I'd like a really good flat bar. Yeah, a really good round flat bar because I want to uh, learn. Sorry. I want to be good at them. Like a, lo a, a long round flat bar. <laughs> okay. Just because I know my friends would come, I'd put some quarter pipes there. I don't like them, but I would put them there. Have you ever skated a, a boob? I think they just stopped. Oh, no. they're, they're called boobs. I was like, what are you talking That's about? That's what they're called. No. It's just like a big hump. I'd put a hump. I'd put a boob in there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, this is from... Don't. This is from Wildcat103. Said, if you could only eat at one restaurant for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Chick-fil-A. There's this there. place in Florida called the R Bar. Shout out to the R Bar. Uh, they have unlimited crab legs, and I'm obsessed with crab, crab legs. Crab legs are so good. I'm obsessed with crab legs. Do you legs. dip them in butter? Yeah. <laughs> I had to like be pulled away from the table because I ate unlimited crab legs for like two hours. My parents wanted to leave and I like, wouldn't stop eating. <laughs> that makes your hands look pretty. All right, this is from Chandler JM. You know him? I do. Which high school clique did you fit into? The people I hung out with weren't... Okay, I'm not trying to make it sound like we were like the outsiders, but because we, we weren't. Like I, like one of my best friends was a football player and he was really good at football. There's two. There's two dogs now. In high school, I didn't skate. Was there a skater in your group then? No. No, there wasn't a skater in our group. I mean, like, I was I was the person that had skated, but in high school I really didn't skate that much. Catherine would be better at answering this than I would. Catherine! What was what was the click that we hung out with in, in high school? Okay, cool. Yeah, she doesn't know either. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I hung out with everybody. God, I can't believe she's so happy she's gone now. I really didn't. We, I really didn't like hang out with like a specific group of people. It was just random friends. I don't know. Like we did. We didn't. We weren't like not popular. We weren't popular. We were just there. All right. This one's from John Hill. Said, "Would you rather make out with me or, or your mom?" <laughs> Probably him. <laughs> I mean, who? Me? No. What? You? Me? Me? Oh. Or I your mom? John. Would you rather make out with Casey or your mom? And he tagged you. I mean, I can't make out with my mom. That's weird. <sighs> Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> There's your answer, John. You said him, and I thought you were talking about John. <laughs> Dude. Dude. This is the last question. It's from Hayden underscore W underscore C. What's the hardest? <laughs> what's the hardest trick you've ever landed, and how long did it take you to learn? I don't know. I get that. I, that's like the number one question on my Q and A's, and I have no idea. Yeah, I don't mind. What? Kickflip crook. It took me four really? days. It took me four days to learn it. Like four, I, for like four four hour sessions to learn how to do it. Like I always want to say like kickflip no kickflip nose man was like the hardest to learn, but yeah. I I landed it within an hour, the first time. But like to get it down, that was hard to get down. He has one. I have one, but it doesn't really answer because I didn't land it, but I pretty much did, but I didn't. Okay. And it was for my video part that I it, it wasn't in my video part because I didn't land it. But in Hawaii, there's like this beautiful bank. You guys have seen videos of it if you've watched. That super. Spray painted yeah, one? spray paint. There's yeah. like water and then Jurassic Park's behind it. I threw down fakie and went up it and tried to fakie three flip nose manual. Oh, and land down it. And and nose manual down it. Down, down it. And I did it at Trek Quarters. I've done it on the bank at Trek Quarters, not the steep one, the little one. And so I tried to do it there and I pretty much did it. Did but you like, I, touch right before it? I okay. touched my wheels like two feet. Like, like like right as the nose was about to hit the flat, that's when I touched my wheels. So it didn't count. Like you it's obvious it didn't count. But you did it. Kind yeah, of. I mean, I rolled away, but it didn't count. Like, yeah, and I tried it for I think like six hours. That's a long time. And it, yeah, I mean, I didn't go back numerous days because that was our last day. But I tried it for six hours and pretty much landed it like four times, but didn't like it wasn't usable. It was a six-hour thing, and I, that was that was one of the maddest I, times I've ever had. Like th that was the maddest I've ever been skating. I think I will say, I was, like freaking out. The way the question is, is he says, "What's the hardest trick you ever landed, and how long did it take?" I've spent, I probably spent more time learning how to three flip. No, that's I what I was gonna say. Yeah, like I learned three flips one day, and then there was the, like the next day I tried to do them uh, not on slippery ground because that's where I learned it is at Ollie's. Yeah. And then I tried to do it on like rough concrete, 
and it took me like three days to do it again. Yeah. So like that was. But that's hard. like not a hard trick now. Or like kickflips. Kickflips took like yeah, a took year. A, it took me like a, took a year and a half. To do. Yeah, like forever. Well, there you go. I'm done. Those were all the questions. Thank you to everyone who asked questions. Um, I'll do another one of these in the future with someone else if you guys want to see it. No, he'll come over here and do it again. They'll do I that. just felt like interrupting you. Uh, subscribe to Sam. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to Sam Tabor if you haven't already. His profile will be in profile. <laughs> His channel will be in the description <laughs> below. Xbox Live. Let's shoot. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.